Hello, and welcome to Just Brick It. On this installment, we will be building, as pictured oops, right there, we will be building a Lego minifigure scale model drill press. Uh, this drill press is featured in my uh, wood shop video. Um, as well as other tools, some of which you can see off to the side here. If building any of these interests you, I encourage you to check out that video, uh, as well as the other videos um, explaining how to build those tools. So, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, as you can see here, while I have the completed project up here, uh, I have all the pieces necessary to build this set out right here. And uh, I am using Lego Digital Designer, wonderful program available from the Lego website. Uh, it is great if you are trying to build something that you just don't have the pieces for, you, you wanna see it in a different color or uh, whatever reason you may not have access to uh, Legos. Uh, this is a fabulous program that bridges that gap and allows you to uh, experience the creative side of, of making something with Legos or designing something with Legos uh, without the the hassle of trying to track down the pieces themselves, at least not until you've got it designed and you know exactly what you need. So, in the corner down here where it says 753 bricks. This actually doesn't take that many bricks, obviously. Uh, I'm just, if I can turn our camera here, we'll see that I am working next to my Lego wood shop. So those pieces are obviously counted in that as well. Let's get this lined back up here. All right, and uh, down in the corner here, like I said, that will, if I click on a piece, it will turn into, it'll give you the part number. So you can search this on Bricklink or wherever it is that you buy your uh, Legos from if you don't get them from Lego themselves. Uh, you can search the part number here for, for those secondhand parts. Uh, the, these numbers, I know at least, I prefer to use Bricklink. So the, these are, uh, all in the Bricklink catalog by this number. Uh, we've also got the names here of, a, you know, like flat tile, one by four, uh, and the color that I chose. Uh, as far as the colors go, I chose this red because it kind of reminded me of of uh, Craftsman. So it's a little bit of an homage to a popular tool brand. It's well known. I felt it kind of needed to be in the shop. Here are the pieces. We have two one by four uh, flat tiles. I have them in red. You can, if you look at all these red pieces, the red pieces are all accent pieces as, you know, part of the, the mostly part of the casing. Uh, so if you want to do yours in blue or maybe a DeWalt yellow, uh, you know, feel free to, to take that color. You don't have to use the colors I used, uh, you know, be creative, do your own thing. But uh, two one by four flat tile pieces, two one by one flat tile pieces, one connector peg cross axle. Uh, it's got the cross axle on one half, a, a regular, uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, well, I totally forgot it. <laughs> uh, but one one connector peg on the other side. I'm, I'm going to Technic, that's it. One Lego Technic peg on the other side. Uh, this is a steering wheel. Uh, got one of those. We got two of these. These, these. Now we're getting into some of the weird pieces I used here. Uh, two one by one bricks with four knobs. So there's actually a knob on each side of this brick. Uh, and you'll see why we, we need that later. 
Uh, now we have a one by one Technic brick. Uh, so, so two of those four knob bricks, two of those Technic bricks. Uh, one just regular run of the mill three zero zero one two by four Lego brick. Uh, I chose a dark stone gray to simulate a, a metal. All of my gray pieces here are uh, dark stone gray to simulate a metal look, uh, with the exception of these uh, two round pegs, or not pegs, two round bricks. Uh, so we do need two one by one round bricks. Uh, those I chose lighter metal. I'll, I'll explain that in just a minute here. Uh, so back to our flat tiles. We have a one by two flat tile with a two by two round flat tile with hole. This is a jumper plate. It's a one by two plate with a knob in the center. We have a two by four plate, a two by two plate, and a one by two plate. Okay, so here's how it goes. You take the two by four plate, put it on top of that two by four brick. Uh, I use red as an accent color, so you need this piece to get the right height. I chose to just, you know, be aesthetic with it. I'm going to put this one by two uh, plate on the back there. And next up, we're going to use a one by two tile. Uh, this is to create the illusion of a flat surface uh, on the top. Well, I'll use this two by two plate here to finish off that layer. Next, we'll take the jumper plate, stick that on the back, and we'll take this round plate with hole in the middle, stick that right there. That's uh, it's kind of simulating where the, the drill press might drill through. At the height of our drill press, we'll take our two round bricks here. I chose a lighter metal, because you can see these are the medium stone gray versus the dark stone gray. Uh, just to, to make a difference between the two colors of metal, uh, I found that like the hydraulic shafts are often a lighter, shinier, grayish color than uh, other gray parts of the machine. Um, maybe that's something that exists only in my head, but that's just how I see it, so I decided to use a lighter gray. So the next thing here is we're going to take these, we're going to take one of these four knob bricks, just go right on top of our round bricks there. And we're going to use the Technic hole in this piece to connect right onto one of those four knobs. Uh, now we'll line this piece up just like the other one, only on that side. Uh, the four knob brick that is. Uh, now we'll take this Technic piece. It's a little more interesting here. I'm going to turn it on its side so that that hole is on the top and bottom. I'm going to connect the end to that like so. Uh, the reason for that is so we can take this Technic peg with a cross axle on one side uh, and we're going to set that in there so it looks like the drill bit. Now we are almost done. Everything else is pretty much just uh, self-explanatory here. I probably don't even have to tell you how this goes. But on this, on the second um, of those four knob blocks on the right hand side because we're making a right hand drill press. If you were left handed, it would like a left handed drill press. I suppose you could just reverse this. We put our steering wheel there so we can pull that drill press down. Um, and we'll take our one by one tile pieces, got one on the front. Um, 
take the other one, we'll stick that on back here. We'll put all these 1x4 tiles on the top. Now, if you really want to complete the casing, I decided to leave this open. I like the way it looks like that. You could put another one here, uh, one by one right there, or possibly even a one by two there. Um, but we're going to finish it up putting this casing on the left hand side. And there it is. That is our uh, that is our drill press just to get you an idea of what that would look like if you wanted to put that there. Let's, that would look like with the one by one there. Um, like I said, I like it the other way. I like it this way over here. You might like it that way. You know, there's no hard and fast rule. This is Lego. It's a guide. It's custom stuff. Make it your own. But that is the Lego minifigure scale model drill press. Uh, if you liked it, give me a good thumbs up down there. Subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, and, you know, hey, always check out my channel. Uh, I plan to be regularly posting new things, uh, but I have no promise or no guarantee. Uh, I may just become busy or, for whatever reason, uninspired for a period of time. So I make no promises about regular content, uh, but I do intend to update this as frequently as I am able. That's our LEGO Drill Press. Thank you and brick on.